Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I'm back with another video on the series from classroom to cubicle and today we're going to discuss another important aspect, uh, especially for the newbies when they enter the organization or especially if you are new to the organization, even you are doing it for your, if you are entering in your second job, still you come across this issue. So can you notice uh, the guy in the picture? He's John and all of a sudden he has been asked by his boss to come inside the boardroom and present the project that he has been working since last two weeks. Can you notice his expressions? Does he look nervous to you? Do you notice the demons that behind him? Well, we all come across such situations, especially when we asked all of a sudden that you are required to speak or present to the management or the customers. So this is common fear and is generally a fear of speaking publicly. And about 85% of the people suffer from it. And the rest of the 15% of people are easy to maybe make nervous by creating certain situation. So if you are experiencing this kind of fear, then you are not alone and it's okay. But the question is, now John, John is new to the organization. The question is how he would able to cope up with this anxiety. So uh, I was re reading a book and that was on uh, speaking without freaking out by Abraham um, Matt and he came up with a very co beautiful concept that how we can overcome anxiety. Though he discussed so many tools in his books but uh, we're going to use some of them and I'm going to tell you how you can apply it. So there are three, three main areas where we can work on. First, read the feeling of anxiety reframe it as a conversation and see it as an opportunity. So how you can greet the feeling of anxiety? First of all, if you ever come across such situation where you ask to be speak spontaneously, like there are situations when there's a town hall meeting going is going on and one of your senior asks you to raise your hand and ask a question from the management. Now, deep down, you wanted to ask, but you feel like, no, I'm not comfortable with that. So the first way of dealing with this, this kind of situation is to greet the feeling of anxiety by saying that, yeah, I'm feeling nervous and I'm about to do something of consequence and importance. You can write it in your own words. Like I, I expect you that you have a need, notebook in your hand and you just write down the feelings of anxiety you have regarding your public speaking or spontaneous speaking. The moment you write them in words and accept it and acknowledge it, then it would be very easy for you to deal with it. So first acknowledge the feeling of anxiety by writing down in your own words. Second thing is taking deep breaths. Whenever we are in anxiety, you can notice, even you can notice your own self. There are situations when we are feel stressed out. So our breathing pattern gets disturbed. So all you have to do is that start taking deep breaths. So think of a moment in your organization where you are feeling anxiety about speaking publicly. And when, the, when you recall that moment, then start taking deep breaths. And you eventually realize that you feel a change in your physiology and state. The third point is use positive affirmations. Positive affirmations help us to re reinforce positive self-talk. The way we speak to us defines so much about ourselves and our stories. So I just want you to take out two minutes and write down some statements and positive affirmations that you want to, to say it to yourself whenever you come across such a situation. For me, it always works. I can do this. But please write it down what powerful affirmations you wanted to see, say it loud to yourself whenever you are going through such a situation. Uh, most of the athletes, when they are going for their running a marathon or any kind of sports, so they, they did some stretching before that. So is the case with the people who are uh, musicians and they have to perform somewhere live. So they do some practice before that. So is the case with you. When you are asked to speak publicly or all of a sudden you are asked to come inside the room, so do anything that makes you feel comfortable. Maybe you can go out for a quick round of walk. Maybe you can talk to someone. Maybe you can listen to some music. 
so today your goal is to find out that what makes you comfortable and relaxed whenever you are in a state where you are having anxiety once you know it start practicing it second point is reframe it not as performance but conversation you know do you know the pressure of performing on the stage can you recall a moment when you were asked by your teacher to perform uh, in a drama on stage or participate in a debate competition no matter how prepared we are whenever we step up on the stage our stage fright actually start eating us from inside and it starts affecting the way we speaking the way we are delivering and if you won't able to manage it in the first 3 minutes of our uh, public performance it starts taking over our own personality and starts ruining our performance so you need to make sure that whenever you are being asked to uh, present something to give your point of view you have to take the situation as a conversation rather than as a performance and how you can do it there are two simple tools about it so i just want that recall a situation where you are feeling having anxiety maybe it could be a situation where you are asked all of a sudden to make a presentation to a new client and though you know about the products and everything but there is some fear inside you so how you can deal with it first of all you going to ask some questions from the audience this way you going to shift the focus from you on them and make it more a conversation rather than a performance secondly so for me it is it's like how you feel it will help you have you ever tried this or experience to you can design your own set of questions and the more you practice it the more it will be easy for you to come up with such questions secondly use inclusive language inclusive language is very important use such words such phrases such examples that resonates with the audience and it will make them feel more included and engaged this will also become a part of a conversation rather than a performance so let's take an example you're texting your uh, your friends and you just write a message hey guys anyone up for bowling tonight and you certainly did not in- mean to exclude all of your female friends but by including only the guys in the wording it may make the feel fe- girls feel left out so uh let's take an example you enter the boardroom you start making a presentation and then all of a sudden you said that you know as you know that my fellow colleague is also working on this project with me since last two weeks so he knows the struggles and the hard work that we poured into this project so the moment you you give his and give his example you make him feel included and you shift the focus from you to them and make it more like a conversation so you just simply ask him would you like to share your uh, your experience on it so it becomes more of a conversation do apply to your real life situations please another point is see it as an opportunity you know uh, the way we adjust we make our mindset about something we start seeing things accordingly so if you see a situation as an opportunity rather than a threat or challenge it will automatically change your physiology and the way you respond to it so uh, the question has how we can see it as an opportunity well in in nlp neuro linguistic programming we are encouraged to use a tool reframing and it's very powerful tool you can apply to all of the situation in your day to day life i was uh, going through a podcast by christina carter on powerful reframing and she come up with very powerful very very wonderful set of questions that we can use uh, to see some situation as an opportunity rather than threat because reframing is all about how you adjust your focus on the situation to see it positively so we all know that when we are in a positive state of mind it's very easy for us to make things in our favor if you are seeing it something as a as a, as a chance to be evaluated for your future performance or something like that then there are chances that your anxiety is going to be doubled with each passing minute and you don't want to feel stuck in your anxious cycle to 
to lose the opportunity to uh, to give your best so uh, we start with asking a question what is the problem i'm experiencing so if we take an example of john that we discussed earlier actually he has having difficulty with speaking spontaneously i just want that you think of a scenario where you can apply all these questions and start writing your answers what am i assuming about the situation that everyone would laugh at me or make fun of me that i'm not competent enough to speak about it because it's been since last two years i'm working on it and there are other senior people who have so much competence over it so maybe i'm not competent enough to deal with it so this is something that you are assuming that actually affecting your confidence level in bringing you in anxiety zone and then how i can see this more in a constructive light so maybe i will get a chance to be noticed from my point of view like this is an opportunity for me and i will learn something out of it may this is a chance to highlight my work to get my work highlighted by the senior so now re reuse some language to re express yourself with this reframe like let's suppose a boss comes to you and asks you please come inside the board room and just present the product project that we have working on the moment you say to yourself oh man i'm so lucky that just after joining the organization just after two weeks i'm getting this opportunity to present my work to the senior management and clients oh god i'm so lucky the moment you say it all of your the physiology completely changes and so your anxiety level you feel start to feel enjoying the moment rather than being uncomfortable with it uh we talk about structures as well so many people uh know their work but they don't know how to present it in terms of structure so you can go in two of the ways let's suppose think of a problem uh or think of a project that you have to present in front of your audience the audience could be your senior management your boss your colleague your fellow coworkers or your clients so you can break that into problem solution and benefits or either you can design it in a way that what is what is what part why is it important and what the next steps that you're going to follow so whenever you have a structure in place it is it is proved by research that 40% of the people retain the information when it's organized in structure and people are actually know that what they're going to expect next from you in terms of what comes next so you create a kind of flow so it's very important that how you respond to the situation and i suggest that you create a flow in your con and make it more like conversation by telling it in a manner of a story and if you follow that structure intentionally or unintentionally then you feel that there is a difference the way it is been uh taken by the, the oral audience so this is all from my end we can talk more about it because there are thousands of ways to deal with anxiety but i i hope that you apply those tools if you find any success then please share your feedback with me and uh, inshallah i'll come with another video till then take care allah face and if you like my video please subscribe the channel